Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back. This is, I can definitively say, the best Icon FJ we've built thus far. I really love this truck. Partially because I love the client we built it for. Same guy that we built the 49 Hudson for, a couple FJs for. And this time he said, hey man, how come you guys have never done an FJ44 with a hard top? And I said, well, because it would be an absolute money pit, it'd be crazy, like, here's a rendering. I've had the idea for a while, but it would be really labor intensive to do. And he's like, well, so what's the problem? Let's do it. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess that's all I needed to hear. Let's do it. So we did it. So the FG40s, when we do the hard tops, and we only do like two a year, right? Those are hard enough as it is because we're taking vintage hard top and door panels, which are getting really hard to find, always need work. We're restoring them and making them align properly with the new aluminum bodies, which takes a lot of finesse and just on and on and on. Well, now compound that by a ridiculous factor when you're talking about taking three vintage hard tops and six vintage doors, cutting and pasting and crafting and stitching and leading and pexto hammering all those together to fit the FJ44 body because obviously there was no original FJ44 body. So there's a, a lot that went into it. I think realistically, just in bare metal, the creation of the top and doors represented probably about 1500 hours of work. But man, was it worth it. Like to me, Toyota's talking about discontinuing the current production Toyota Land Cruiser. If this was the 2022 Toyota Land Cruiser and if Toyota would return to their roots and like do a G-Wagon killer, this would be such a cool foundation for such a design. Meanwhile, I'm sure Toyota thinks I'm an idiot and they know better, but until then, I'm gonna keep building them myself or even after then. But the, just all the details in this truck came out so cool. Um, now it's painted instead of our usual powder coated approach. So this is the, uh, like one of my all time favorite contemporary paint colors, which is referred to as Graffat Bleu, which is uh, seen on current production Porsche products. And it just has like a cool chalky, foggy, modern, but still timeless aesthetic and with the rest of the volcanic black trim, it just created a really nice package. So this truck started out as a 1976 FJ40, and it is Icon FJ number 136. It is built in the new school style. It has pretty much all the options you've grown to expect from us. So it has the Icon Sport brakes by Brembo, it has a full mandrel bent stainless steel exhaust system. We're running the GM LS3 design generation aluminum fuel injected V8 to the 4L85E tranny, which is sending power through to the Atlas II twin stick shift on the fly part-time four wheel drive two speed transfer case. We're running the ARB locking diffs front and rear. And of course, the axles are the Dynatrack Dana 44 and Dana 60 based units. Suspension is the Icon designed coilover system utilizing the optional sport suspension package, which means it has the nitrogen charged shocks with remote canisters. And those are tunable, both fast and low speed response tuning right on the can. And then IBOC coils tunable sway bars, front and rear, Johnny joints everywhere, only Heim joints on the sway bar ends. What else? We've got obviously the updated Icon rear view mirrors. We're running the Icon twin carrier rear class two bumper receiver hitch situation. The Icon front bull bar with the hidden worn wench. We're running the aux LED icon lighting, both the reverse light as well as the fog lights in the front and the icon branded LED headlights. Every single light in 
current FJs or diode down to all of the various interior lights. We recently complemented our established lower LED lights for flooring with two on the roof racks that are high output that really make a big difference, make it super nice and bright in here. Then we're running the Chilowich textiles with the OEM Mercedes Marine rated vinyl. For seating configuration on this one, we're running the four bucket seats forward facing with the carbon fiber three stage heaters in all four seats. And then back in the cargo area, we're running the Icon designed inspired by the original jump seats with improved ergonomics and safety. Three point belts for everybody. Insulated uh, rubber back, Chilowich topped mats throughout. The Icon fire extinguisher, the Icon milled aluminum sport brakes, the machined parking brake handle, dash knobs, gauges, clock, the Dakota digital Icon design gauge pack, our highest end audio, which is the latest and greatest from Pioneer, the 8400 NEX head unit with now wireless CarPlay, also with the Focal K2 improved audio with separates for speakers, and then JL audio for bass and alpine for amplifiers. Whew, what a mouthful. The Icon stainless steel center console. Um, because this truck's gonna end up in the Middle East where it gets quite warm, we designed a custom dual AC system for this one. So we have our usual upfront in-dash AC, which is now complemented by rear AC as well. Being the goober that I am, the control panel for that product just wasn't quite up to par. Really ugly font, it was all plastic. So we designed a new skin for the illumination that tied to the color palette of our existing gauges and then redesigned the font and indicators to really be cohesive and match with our existing gauges and then machined the bezel and the knobs. So you get the tactile value of the aluminum over the plastics. What else? We've got the amp research powered steps all the way around. We got the Icon Rosen Learjet sun visors. We did the headliner in black Alcantara. Custom door panels, kept them super simple. Inspired by the original Toyota design, but in just an improved material. We kept the door locks and mirrors old school analog. I think that's pretty much it. I'm just so excited about this truck. I could babble on and on and on and on, but I will spare you. So that's pretty much all I got for you today. As always, really appreciate you taking the time to spend time with us, to get to know the brand. We really, really appreciate it. We could not do it without your support. If you have any questions, go to school. 818-280-3333. We're located in Southern California. The website, of course, is Icon 4 x 4 as is our Instagram feed and on Facebook. Thanks again. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Be well.